got a couple aftermarket stuff on there. It's got a FMF Q4 pipe, uh, power bomb header, some uh, engine sliders right here, um, and then just some other miscellaneous parts like that. I'll go around kind of slow for you guys, and then I will start the bike up and uh, show you the sound. I currently have a 13 tooth 49 on here, um, which I can only go about 70 miles on the freeway. I'm actually switching it to a uh, 1346 is what's coming in the mail and uh, anyways I've been really happy with this bike I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever uh, the thing is super durable you can just beat it up I've had it for a few months now and I've done about 3,000 miles on it and it's it's great things a blast but anyways let's go ahead and start it up I just, you know, go ahead and use my odometer. I can usually get about 70, 75 miles before I have to fill up. It's only a two gallon tank. So here it is right here, just revving at idle. This is from cold. And then we'll go ahead and we'll rev it up. Anyways, that's revving at idle. All right, let's go make a short little trip of it. I will talk to you guys while it's riding and we're off uh, the first two gears on this bike are just ridiculously short with the gearing that I have on it and uh, oops. the first two gears are just really really short on this bike and uh, I can only get it up to maybe 20 miles an hour. The speedometer isn't accurate. I'm in third gear right now. And uh, it's just, it's, the speedo's way, way off with the uh, the new rear sprocket and all that good stuff. But off-road, the thing's great with this gearing. But, I mean, I'm only going, you know, maybe 20, 25 right now. And I'm in third gear. Uh, that, that seems like not enough. So I'm switching a little lower, but hey, okay, you know, that's just me. But anyways, I absolutely love this bike. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, maintenance on this thing is really easy. Uh, just an oil change. I do mine every 1,500 miles, and I use uh, Yama Lube uh, Synthetic is what I end up using on mine. Um, and I just lube the chain up maybe twice a week or so, but, you know, it's just me. Uh, on the freeway with this bike, it's a little tough with the 1349 gearing on there. But, um, you know, I can do it, but it's just not enjoyable at all. I mean, you're really taxing the engine on, you know, a 250 motor like this. But uh, I've been reading up on the forums, and they're saying if you go ahead and you uh, change out the gearing, uh, you can go up to, up to like 95 or 100 miles an hour, some people are claiming. So I'm going to try to gear it a little bit lower, but not stock, a little bit, you know, lower grunt than stock for that. But, you know, I'll do an update video when that happens. But anyways, you know, let's try a little wheelie. I'm still learning these, so I, I clutch them up in second is how I do them. So here we're in first, second. Pull clutch, and then I drop. Let's see if I can do that again. Uh, I got it up like an inch or two right there. Nope. Uh, I still got to work on these things. I had them down a few months ago, but I, I haven't been practicing them. Alright, that was a little better. I notice if I pull the clutch in and then I bring up the revs and then I just dump it and then chase it out, uh, I can give it up, but it, I just haven't been doing them in forever. So it's going to take some practice. But uh, it's going a little freeway ride right now. I'll show you guys, you know, what the bike is like at uh, freeway speeds. Right now I am in fourth gear. Uh, 
But uh, I'll go ahead. I'll uh, I'll bring the bike up to highway speed in six gear. I can do about 60, 65. I'm guessing. I haven't uh, GPS checked it, but you know, just from looking at the other traffic, that seems to be how fast I'm actually going. But I mean, turning on this bike, like corners on this thing in third gear, the bike is just so clickable and just so light. It's just a complete blast to ride. But uh, freeway, it does act it quite a bit. So here we are, fourth gear, turning up our ass.
freeway ride right there. Uh, you can do freeways, but they just really aren't all that comfortable. You want to kind of ideally stay away from the freeways. Uh, it's more fun on the back roads with this bike, uh, but you can do freeway miles with it. But anyways, back onto the review. Um, Off-road, this thing is just a beast. It's just insanely lightweight. I can flick it around anywhere I want. Uh, second gear uh, with the 1349 gearing is just marvelous for off-road. I've noticed I can stay in second and I feel really comfortable just about everywhere I go in it. Uh, throttle, it's not that choppy on here. It's, it's really smooth due to the fuel injection. Like you're all kind of just using. But it does have a ton of torque coming through here with that, which is really nice. So you can just give it a whole bunch and it'll take off. Um, but, but I'd really like to try to learn some more power wheelies and put them up for you guys. So uh, anyways, let's keep going. We're going to the village of Carlsbad. And this will be my third upload right now. I'm currently uploading a video.
But switching from a sport bike to this is a huge difference. Like on the freeway, when I have to go ride like an hour or two away, I mean, I am just destroying this motor. I mean, I feel like I'm really just powering it out hard and it doesn't feel right to do it. Um, so I, I still do wish I had my sport bike just to be able to do that. Uh, just the freeway stuff. And sometimes in the uh, canyons, like Ortega Highway, uh, it, it's kind of longer corners and stuff. So this bike, I was still having tons of fun just flying through there, but I was in sixth gear the whole entire time just really whining out the motor on it. Uh, but through the tighter canyons and the tighter stuff, I, I can fly through the canyons way faster on this bike than I can on my, uh, my sport bike I had. And I feel way more confident doing so. Like if I take a corner in wrong or if I kind of break it in and I, I go in too sharp or not sharp enough, with this bike mid-corner, I, I can, uh, oh, I already passed the thing. Uh, on this bike, I can go ahead and I, I can correct stuff like that, you know, midway through the corner. Woo! Kind of had to uh, let off the gas there. I felt like I was going over. But anyway, it's a little baby wheelie right there. I think that was my highest one so far. But, I don't know, it's, it's up to your guys' decision on, you know, what you want to take from this brief little review on here. Uh, there, there is quite a bit of knowledge out there on this bike, on like Dumper Talk and some other forms um, and stuff like this. But, you know, if I forget to mention anything in, you know, my videos at all, guys, please put something down in the comments. I'll be uh, more than happy, you know, to respond back to you guys and, you know, let you know what I think about it. Or if you guys have any other questions or suggestions for me to make another video. Hey, look, another picture. I don't know if you want to talk to me, but the power delivery, oops, there it is. But the power delivery on a sport bike is really cool. Like, you know, for me, um, there you go. for me, I really like the clutch on a sport bike. I don't know what it is, but it just felt so much smoother than my WR. But overall, I am so happy I bought this bike and sold my Triumph. Uh, my 07 Triumph was giving me just a heap of amount of electrical issues. That year for that bike is just known to have the stator go out, have the regulator go out, have the battery blow up. I mean, just all sorts of crazy stuff. I had to replace everything electrical twice. So I ended up selling it. Um, needless to say, the bike was a salvage title when I bought it, but you know, it, it served its purpose. It was fun for a while and it, you know, it was kind of a chick magnet. I think this bike isn't as much of a chick magnet, but it is still pretty dang cool. But uh, anyways, I'll go ahead, I'll end the video for today, guys. I might go ahead and